Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Germs, welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilton Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilton Paul, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. I got something to talk about. Ooh, for real. I do. Great. Yeah, surprise. Unless you have something. No, I was going to... Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I was going to say something stupid, so... This... I'm sure it'll come up. <laughs> this, There's still a chance. This past weekend... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was it was my dear friend Matthew's uh, bachelor party. It was. He's a bachelor boy. Happy bachelor. And we went to New Orleans. New Orleans. Mm-hmm. The big easy. Roulez-vous Ru- couser. Mm-hmm. That yeah, I means hands off mine. <laughs> <laughs> How many um, hurricanes did you drink? None. For real. We got a hand grenade. Okay. And you and you washed it out with some beignets. Yeah. Oh, we for real though. Okay. Um it, it was great. So except You were there for like three days, four days? Thirty six hours. Okay, just enough time to do some damage. Um Is that true? Thirty six hours? Just about, yeah. Wow. I was supposed to leave at eight AM Okay. On Friday. Okay. At, I, so I got up at like five to, yeah. get, to get to the airport and shit. Five fifteen. It was, it was like five minutes before I was going to leave. Get an email. Your flight has been canceled. Canceled. They couldn't find one more airplane over the next like thirteen hours. So I had to rebook, and I did not get to leave until nine p.m. Wow, man, you you kept that kayfabe though. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I got in at 11. I can't but be- how were you just like seething? Like, well, there goes my whole trip. It it wound up it was a bummer that I missed out on the first day. Yeah, big time, right? But but then you I showed up, up and everyone was just like pissed drunk and you're like, "Okay." I wound up not having to take Spirit. I was originally flying Spirit, and sure. that's what got canceled. Sure. So I was I was able to get out of that, which was nice. <laughs> um I guess that's the only good thing. You just had a, you just took a trip on a better aircraft. Yeah. Which is what you we should have done in the first place. Like I've made the same, the same thing, same thing just happened to me recently. Where it was like, Oh, I guess I'm just done taking this airplane, uh, this airport. Well, and the what, thing what is, the word I'm looking for? airplane airline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Airline. And the thing is I don't normally fly spirit, mm. but it was the only at the, when I bought the flight, it was the only one that wasn't like astronomical. Sure. So it, it was like $400 or $250. And it's like, well, Jeez. I kind of have to take spirit, I guess. Uh, huh. but if it's, if it's like, a fifty dollar difference or less, I'm gonna oh, big go time, for the yeah. better airline. Honestly, if I would say I would even make the spread a hundred uh, for a hundred dollars. Depends on how long the flight is. Uh. Two hours, you can survive anything for two hours. Well, no, to me, it's not the the leg room. To me, it's the are you going to cancel on me? Mm, you know, because sure. now I'm like, I, you, you burn me once. You yeah. know, like I'm done. Uh, are other mm-hmm. airlines less likely to do that? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I, have no clue. I think you just get screwed. I think you just do. Um. So anyway, I, I got there. Um, by the time I arrived, everyone was already like, you know, they'd gone out for dinner. Nobody was, we didn't get crazy on okay. Friday. You know, walked down Bourbon Street at like 11. Okay. Pretty rowdy. Oh, for real? Yeah. Then we then we went and we saw some music and it was great. And then we, oh, and we got beignets. Got it. And then we came back Bourbon Street at like 2, 2.30. Less rowdy. Really? I was very surprised. It was still rowdy, but less so. Is Bourbon Street just like a nonstop party year round? Mm-hmm. That's that's interesting, right? Yeah. What, what is that? Are there any other places like that in America? Daytona Beach, for real though. Actually, no. I yeah. mean, no. Because uh, like, obviously, there's places like LA Vegas, that have a nightlife. Vegas, Vegas is probably yeah. Man, should have gone to Vegas. So next time. But um, on the way out, uh, like there was construction on Bourbon Street, and there was a banner ab- above it, and it was like. Hey, you know, we're still, you can still come party during construction. Sure. And, and it, it was supposed to say, laissez le bon temps rouler. Right. Hands off mine. But it said, laissez le bon temps rouler. So it was, they did not agree in number. There was just like a. a so it was supposed to say, let the good times roll. But instead it said something to the effect of, let, let a good time rolls. Basically. <laughs> And I was ast- I was astounded because it seemed like it was a sign that they made, you know, like the city. You know, you would think that the city would know how to spell like this the fucking phrase, thing. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe it was just maybe it was one of the businesses. It was weird. I mean, yeah. Regardless, though, it's like, hey, like maybe this get this one phrase. Thing. Yeah, right. 
Yeah. Chicago. E pubis unum. <laughs> okay. <All right>. Yeah. <laughs> Out of many, dong. <laughs> Um, anyway, you want an article? Yeah, let's get an article. Okay. Let's mix it up and get an article. Oh, dang. Uh-oh. Whoa. Holy shit. Um, this is actually crazy. Okay. December 1992, Nor'easter. Okay. Why is this crazy, Johnny? I'm, I'm wondering. I'll read, I'll read this to you and then I'll, I'll explain. Is it the perfect storm? Uh, it was less severe than the perfect storm. No. Does it really say that? Yes. <laughs> the December What 19- the fuck is the perfect storm? I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, okay. The December 1992 nor'easter produced record high tides and snowfall across the northeastern United States. It developed as a low pressure area on December 10th over Virginia, and for two days it remained over the mid Atlantic states before moving offshore. In Maryland, the snowfall unofficially reached 48 inches. Wow. If verified, the total would have been the highest in the state's history. About 120,000 people were left without power in the state due to high winds. Along the Maryland coast, the storm was less severe than the perfect storm in the previous year, although the strongest portion of the storm remained over New Jersey for several days. In the state, winds reached 80 miles per hour Mm. in Cape May, and tides peaked at 10.4 feet in Perth and Boy. And Boy. The combination of high tides and 25-foot waves caused the most significant flooding in the state since Ash we- the Ash Wednesday storm of 1962. Several highways and portions of the New York City subway and Port Authority trans-Hudson systems were closed due to the storm. Throughout New Jersey, the nor'easter damaged about 3,200 homes and caused an estimated $750 million in damage. Okay. So, <laughs> I believe I experienced this storm. Really? I was in New York for my aunt's wedding. You would have been about four. Mm Mm-hmm. What a shitty wedding. Unless I experienced the perfect storm (laughs) the previous year. Uh, But I I believe... either way. I believe it was this storm. Um, She got married that close to Christmas, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I wonder when... uh, Maybe it was the perfect storm then. When was this? December December 19th, 1992. There was a ride December, on the street. December 10th. Ah, still. I wonder. I don't know. December 10th is much better. Mm-hmm. Like, my, my birthday is December 2nd. Hint, hint. And that's not close enough to Christmas where I get, you know, bummed. Warm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they it was so bad that, like, the reception venue was like, you actually can't do this. It's too bad. Wow. So what would even happen? Like, it would just be like... Her, her husband, or my uncle... Um, is a, a firefighter, so they they were able to do it at like the fire station. That's like, kind of fun. Area. Yeah, order a bunch of pizzas. <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, you do a bunch of deposit though. You're like, well, I guess you're just out of luck. Like, I don't know. Do you whatever. Get like, I don't know. I'm just weddings are expensive as hell, and I'm, and I can't imagine how expensive they were on Long Island. You know, mm-hmm. like just in general, I'm sure. Dude, we're doing like a fake wedding, and oh. it's fucking expensive. For real? I mean, it's not. Well, I mean, yeah. Compared to what you could be doing. It's not expensive, but... Because essentially what what you're doing is like renting out like a, a space and catering, right? Those yes. are the two things you're yeah. doing. Yeah, we're not doing a ceremony or anything. It's right. just like a party. Sure. And it was still like Jesus. Not not like Jesus, but like... Eh. Do we need to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Can we just get some cold cuts? <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so I can only imagine like if you're doing the damn thing. Right. <sighs> What if, um, what if you all went out? This is okay. So this would be the this would be the reception. Everyone goes to like a big consignment store, you know, somewhere with a lot of like old used clothes. Dog, yeah. You, I've told you about this place, but we need to go to this place off of Howard, this costume shop. You have mentioned it. I like, keep forgetting about it. It's it's what you're describing. Yeah, that, that sounds it's, perfect. Just like an old like they got crazy shit in there. It's too big it it's it's unreal you're gonna go in you're, you're gonna say you're gonna say there's no way it's as big as he's, <laughs> as he's talking about you're gonna go in and you're gonna say oh this is pretty big and then you're gonna walk farther in and you're gonna say whoa shit this is huge <laughs> and then you're gonna go downstairs in the basement and you're gonna say what the <laughs> fuck for real <laughs> didn't you say they literally sell suits of armor yeah yeah okay so that's kind of the scale we're talking about this is the party, though. Everyone, everyone. I'm talking like 100, the 120 people that you invited to your catering. I don't I have no idea. I'm just spitballing. And you all go to this big ass 
shop Mm -hmm. and everyone buys a goofy costume and then uh you all go out to like a movie and rainforest cafe and rainforest cafe yeah exactly so like the entertainment is like self-provided that's awesome it sounds kind of fun but i bet like you would have to be a certain kind of person and your wife would have to be like yeah, I'm done with this. You know what I mean? And like, your, your family would have to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone needs to be like on board with like, no, nah, this is fine. You can't invite grandparents because they can't. No, they would hate that. Oh, my God. They would already hate like, okay, yeah, she's marrying him. Okay, fine. If she's happy. Oh, this is this is what they decided on. <sighs> I knew I hated him. What's the cheapest thing on their registry? <laughs> <laughs> God dang it. Well, that's the the trick is your registry is just 100,000 different Rainforest Cafe gift cards. Oh, my God. In different Each increments. for $1. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how much it costs to rent out Rainforest Cafe. It's not uh, cheap, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably not cheap, but I bet it's not crazy. Uh, Would But hold on. Would you also pay for like the meal? So like everyone has like a prefix menu. So <laughs> you could choose from the, yeah, like the. So if they want the Pangea platter. Exactly. Right. But if they want, yeah, Gus's gorilla bites, you know, <laughs> those are the two options. <laughs> oh my God. Cha-cha salad. Yeah. For the vegetarians. Right. God, this sounds great. Actually. You got to pay extra for them to turn all the animals on though. That's worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> That's you starting it like a lawnmower. Yeah. Just so thank you. Yeah. The listeners at home can, um, God, That'd be. What if they made it so like the gorillas would like grunt? But, uh, congratulations! Yeah, exactly, but like they don't do it like once every like hour fifteen. <laughs> so you'd be like, wait, did he just say what? <laughs> no, no, listen, listen. Never do it again for like yeah forever. Just basically make it so he says it like three times during the night. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like he, the, congratulations, the gorillas Johnny has a, and Jessica. <laughs> What yeah, really fuck? specific. Wait, the gorilla does it twice, and then the like a different third animal says it one time. Like that's it. So you're never, you're always like happy what? wedding. What the fuck? The toucan? Yeah. <laughs> this sounds great. I'd rather do this. Man, you know we went to Rainforest Cafe a long time ago. We're due for a, a return trip, huh? It was so expensive. I do seem to recall being like, um, for the food and the bit, this is maybe kind of worth it. But it's not really. It was, I would go so far as to say it was not worth it. Um, yeah, but we got a very good picture out of it. The uh, the bit was funny. Because it was like, really, it was like 10 of us. At least 10 of us. We all dressed up very nicely and went to the Rainforest Cafe and enjoyed our meal. I feel like it was like 25 to $30 a plate. I was going to say I probably spent $35 like on my meal. That's a lot it for is. not good food. Yeah, no, you're you're not wrong, but I mean the ambiance can't be beat. That's true. Although I seem to recall it didn't ever rain once. Is that true? I think so. Maybe we just weren't close enough to the animals for me to notice. Yeah. You know. Yeah, we were kinda in the middle of the room. Yeah. I that being said, I would go back. I would absolutely go back. Yeah. Yeah, we should go back. I mean there's nothing stopping us. What if like just the two of us went, but like well, you didn't tell anybody. we, we just, dressed up really nice. Kind of like, like that. Very nice. Kind of like that time that we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Just on a whim. We just went together to Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. And we also waited like an hour for a table. Because <laughs> there was some UFC fight on. <laughs> that we but we, we like rode like 40 minutes on the train and we're like, well. And then we waited for a while and we had to go down to like the container store to like kill some time. And like we're just looking at different Tupperwares. And... But we really wanted wings. Yeah. And they were pretty expensive. Can I t- can I tell you a secret? Yes. Before we saw Paul McCartney, we went to BW3. <laughs> God damn it. What a night. Cause, what a good night you had. Because it was in the suburbs. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I mean, that that was like the closest thing. Right, and right. I was like, well, I guess we're, I guess we're, oh. I guess we're eating <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> I'm, I love all that. All those restaurants though, man. Like the, the but, suburbs. I get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I'm not a big, like Olive Garden fan for whatever reason. Olive Garden is like sort of like, well, yeah. Cause, the fanciest. Cause you could go to Fazoli's instead, <laughs> but like what, what should take the crown for like the Buca de Beppo. Buca de Beppo. This yeah. is where we're going for prom style. Um, that is where I went for prom. There you go. <clears throat> 
guy get in the Pope room? The room with the Pope? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I wonder where the closest Buca de Beppo is. I feel like there's one in the city. No way. I think so. I think there's one like downtown, like off the Grand Red Line. What I are we going, waiting for? I guess we're going to Buca de Beppo. I, I, here's, I want to hit up. I also, I would love to hit up a CC's Pizza. It's been a minute. God. Okay. So this is basically our suicide note is what we're doing. We're leaving a suicide note. Yeah. What happened? I went to Buca de Beppo and then finished it off with CC's. <laughs> Not in the same night. <laughs> well, yeah, you do one for lunch, one for dinner. I could do that. You got to do buka for dinner. Oh, yeah, big time, yeah. You go to CC's to whet your appetite. <clears throat> yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, it's it's all you can eat, yeah, technically, but you oh. don't stay full. <laughs> what are we doing for breakfast, then? Golden Corral. Golden Corral. <laughs> God. See, I feel like buka is is a, an outlier in this. You, you, we need to, we we need to replace them with something else. It needs to be more chainy. Yeah. So, Golden Crown in the morning for sure. No. Denny's. Denny's. I like that. Denny's for breakfast. Cece's for lunch. <laughs> oh, Golden Corral for dinner. <laughs> that feels good. That's that's my thirtieth birthday. I want to do that for my thirtieth birthday. Okay, we'll make that happen. You've got over a year to plan. Okay. Find the nearest of each of these, and keep in mind that the nearest, the the second nearest CCs might be closer to the nearest Golden Corral. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, so we need to we need to find the. So, the, don't think just because you found the closest Denny is like that's right. It might end up being more efficient to go to a farther Denny's, right? Because it's if closer it gets to the closer Denny. to the Golden Corral. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you got time. You got time. I do have time. You're right. Yeah, I do have time. Uh, and what I love for that is you can just uh, all three meals. You don't have to. You're probably not going to put more than like a twenty spot. No. You know what I mean? Like you still you still got money left over. Yeah. So you can DQ something different for dessert. <laughs> See <Slow> you later. <laughs> Big cats are pretty weird because they're just that. Big cats. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There's your stinger. Thank you for playing arcade audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.